With this now, the death toll in the horror head-on collision between two minibus taxis on the R57 between Rates and Petrus Stain in the Free State has risen to 14. Free State Emergency Medical Services spokesperson Sipo Doa says one of the four people injured in the crash died later in hospital. Let's get the very latest now on the story. Our reporter Apumelele Mzalane is at the scene of the accident. A very good afternoon to you, Apumelele. Uh, you know, obviously very concerning story. You know, we've just started the festive season essentially, um, you know, off uh, the back of this accident. Of course, we had another accident where six people people had uh, died in another province. Talk to us about this particular uh, incident. Uh, we know that um, we had earlier reported that 13 people had died. Now it seems that the, the death toll has risen. You are correct to say that the death toll has risen to four, uh, 14. Uh, earlier on, we heard from the authorities that 13 people uh, died instantly here on the scene on the stretch of R57 between Petrostain and the Reeds. We understand that the two minibuses collided in the early hours of the morning and uh, quite uh, interesting enough. Now, for this stretch between the two towns, it's very clear in terms of, you know, uh, uh, there's no potholes given that the other roads joining uh, this particular road has, of course, potholes. But no, this one is not uh, riddled with potholes. Uh, now we are uh, here on the scene where we would see some of, of course, uh, you know, where we can see that this authorities were here and earlier on as I did mention also uh, the traffic was affected because uh, the road was closed for quite some time for more than four hours the the road was being cleared and now uh, the latest development uh, is that now we understand one died in hospital as we know uh, the four people that were critically injured were taken to the nearby hospitals which include the Sabing uh, hospital as well as Nkedwana Hospital. But from the police side, uh, they are saying that they are still trying to locate the next of Keynes, as we also understand that uh, these, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, vehicles, the other one was from Pretoria, driving to Forestback, while the other one was from uh, the, uh, uh, f this side in Fixback, going to Gauteng Province. So uh, I would say it's a distance of of course, from where they were from to where they were going. Uh, that's why now there's no uh, update yet in terms of whether the next of kings have been located yet. But we are, of course, uh, talking to the authorities in terms of uh, uh, development on this story. But now the road is clear and the traffic is moving. And, of course, this is the road that is notorious with accidents and given that it's festive season time uh, authorities are suspecting that it might have been fatigue like I did mention but uh, it's it's quite a busy road as we were here now for at least an hour we could see that there's movement of uh, uh, cars also from uh, of course with different uh, uh, you know number plates simply means that it's not really used by only free state uh, residents only but people who frequent uh, this road uh, passing, of course, uh, when they want to join the N5 and the N3 to Bethlehem, to Harris Smith, along the side to the KZ10 area. But for now, this is exactly uh, what the scene looks like and we will, of course, develop as the story uh, uh, unfolds. Apumelele, thank you so much for that update. Of course, Apumelele is coming to us live from where the horrific head-on collision occurred on the R57 between Rates and Petra Stain in the Free State. Um, now the death toll has risen to 14. Of course, Apumelele telling us there that authorities are saying at the moment preliminary indications are that that accident could have been caused by fatigue. So as you head out um, on the roads, please make sure that you um, adhere much 
caution on the roads this festive season. All right, your weather is up next. That wraps up the first hour of SA Today. I'll be back with you at the top of the hour with more of your top stories. Stay with us.